Hello everyone and welcome to Wine Raccoon. Today we will be sipping on 19 Crimes, their red blend. This is a 2020 from Australia. And a little bit of background on this, uh, if you look at the back of the bottle, you can download a really cool app. And um, this is a real person. And you can learn all about 19 crimes and it's just a really cool story he actually like tells you his crime and like his punishment and it's really awesome i'm using my phone to record this um but yeah if you ever see this i highly recommend picking it up and giving it a shot it's super fun um, i first learned about, about this wine when i was doing um i think i was at a, a tasting a tasting event uh, at my local liquor store and they showed you this and it was just fascinating to me. It's such a cool, cool little thing. So anyway, um, just wanted to mention that if you ever do decide to pick this one up. So um, I could not find any tasting notes on their official website, um, but doing a little digging, it looked like some of the tasting notes include fruity flavors uh, and sweet blackberry. So let's go ahead and take this one for a spin. This is very bold, I guess you could say. Um, so right off the bat, you really get that kick of flavor. Um, very bold in that way. I'm outside, hopefully it's not too loud. Um, and it's, there aren't a lot of tannins. It doesn't, it's not very dry. It doesn't make your mouth feel dry. Yeah. Hmm. I do see how you can get blackberry from this if you were to try to pick out a flavor. Um, it doesn't really evolve too much, it just very much is what it is. Um, yeah, this is a very this is a very one note wine, if you will. Um, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping to get a little bit more, some more, more flavors in there or something. Hmm. I, I guess I don't really have much to say because there's not much to this. Um, it's not, it's not very sweet. Um, not very sweet at all. It's just, but it's also not dry. So if you don't like that feeling of dryness, you know, that, that is good. Um, if you like blackberry, this might be up your alley. Um, that, like I said, that's really the main flavor that I potentially would be able to pick out for this. Um, otherwise, it's very one-dimensional. It's not like other wines where it's like, ooh, you get a little bit of this flavor, you know, on this on the sides of your tongue and stuff like that. It's just, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's, I'm just gonna leave you with that, so, <laughs> um that's that's kind of it so on a scale of zero to five zero being i never want to drink this again and five being i want to drink this every day um i'd give this one maybe a 1.5 um just because it's it's very one note um i mean it's definitely not claiming to be anything that it's not so so there is that i think honestly like the label is is cool but the wine itself is pretty meh so maybe you like this maybe you know you're tasting something i'm not if you've had this before and you really enjoy it you know leave those comments in, in the description or leave those comments below i i am very you know interested to see what other people think about things like this especially when they're kind of meh to me so uh, if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, feel free to drop those in the comments below, and I look forward to having a sip again with you soon.